Hello there everyone, Joseph here, and we are here with a Falcon BMS ramp startup tutorial with the F-15E Strike Eagle. Uh, we are going to go through and do the ramp startup procedure for the uh, Strike Eagle, like I said before. Uh, this should be a fairly quick and easy tutorial, this is probably one of the easiest birds to, um, this is probably one of the easiest birds to start up. So uh, enough yakking, uh, let's go ahead and get on it. So the first thing I like to do is to close the canopy. So look over here for your canopy close um, lever. And just go up above the lever until your cursor turns green and hit it. Or you can use the hotkey, whichever you prefer. It's always a uh, whichever one you prefer uh, whenever we do one of these tutorials. All right, so now we have the canopy closed. So let's go ahead and get power to the bird. Uh, first thing to note though is, as you see here, this is your brake hold. You cannot switch on the brake until you turn on power to the bird. So, just a, a heads up for you all. So let's go ahead and get power to the bird. So we'll go here, and we'll switch on both generators. Uh, this is the only switch we have to worry about. We do not have to worry about these switches over here. As you can see, now we can turn on the brakes. So the brakes are armed. If we come over here to the left cheek, you can see it says, uh, the brake, or the, um, the brake icon has lit, uh, has, has lit up for you to indicate that brakes are on. Alright, so electrical systems are on. Let's go ahead and get field of the bird. So we'll come over here to the left panels and we'll look over here at the fuel panel. And we want to switch on the normal. So we are now normally flowing fuel into the, uh, this is the normal pump. So we're pumping fuel normally into the engine. Uh, of course, this is the aft and forward. You can switch those on if you want to, or you can just, you know, leave them off. It's up to you. Depending on, you know, if you have extra fuel tanks and whatnot. Uh, next, we need to uh, turn the uh, engine on. So that's fairly simple. We come over here to the right cheek on the middle console. As you see here, right next to the brake hold, you have your engine starting, uh, engine starter lever knob i don't know what the technical term is for this little uh device here but you want to left click on that we should hear the engine spooling up engine is spooling up uh you will get a fail uh indication and a master caution indication do not worry about those those will be corrected later now we need to wait until the engine rpms have increased to 25 percent similar to how you do it with like the uh falcon and the Hornet, because we have to kind of remember the F-15 is nothing more than a Falcon dressed up as an F-15 with an F-15 flight model. <laughs> That's just kind of how all the extra aircraft are in the game. So we want to wait until we reach 25 RPM. Uh, you can either look up in the, uh, up at the top left corner of your screen if you have your engine RPM um, indicators on. Hopefully you do, because some of these birds have kind of a wonky indicators. Or you wait until you get to something like this, where the two is almost rolling over, and you can see the kind of the top of the three. That's 25%. So we're going to move the throttle up a little bit past idle. Click the idle indent button, and throttle back down. Now if we look over here, RPMs are spinning up. That's good. Uh, once they hit 70%, they will be fully, um, fully spooled up, and you should hear that. And we should, as we see here, electronic systems go off where we get FLCS and the seat master cautions. So again, do not worry about those. Now, we need to power up everything else. So essentially we have the bird going, fuel is flowing to the engine. Now we need to get everything up. So let's go over here to the left panel. Over here to the volume miscellaneous power. This is your, essentially your of course volume in UFC switches and then this is all your sensors so let's go ahead and switch on all the sensors so first we're gonna power up the MFDs power up the GPS data link CNI UFC left and right hard points SMS and UFC we want to switch the UFC to main uh, and then we'll leave the guard UFC to main as well we want to make sure our TEW um, TEWS caution launch uh, volume control is up we want to increase volume on your ICS weapons and then of course volume 1 and volume 2 for comms next we're gonna move down here to the sensor panel the actual sensor panel uh, we're gonna switch on the FCC the FCR and then we're gonna hit INS to align so now INS is aligning 
Uh, next, we'll come up from there to the external lights. We're going to switch on the formation lights, anti-collision, vertical tail flood, and your positional flashes. And there is that. So everything should be running. As you can see here, INS is on. FCR is on. Uh, after a few minutes, it will switch over to start doing its bitrate. And that is essentially it. Um, the only other thing we need to do is come up here to the main panel, this main panel section. Go up to the DED. We want to make sure we turn on the volume for comms 1 and 2. This is the actual volume, so the knobs do not change. We want to increase the brightness on our HUD, so HUD brightness is up. Next, we want to come down to that to the navigation MFD. We want to switch on our chaff, our flares, switch to whatever program you want for your countermeasures, and then switch on your countermeasures, set them up to main. Next, we want to come over to the other side. We want to turn on the RWR, uh, the jammer, and this one here does not do anything, but it is ECM, so if you have an ECM pod, you have to remember to come down here and click ECM. And that is that. Uh, now we just have to wait for everything to start up. We do want to come back over here to the right panel and make sure we do turn on our oxygen so that we have fuel flow. And not fuel flow, but oxygen flow once we get up in the air. Uh, just a little bit of a where is things. Uh, here you can see this is your um, fuel fuel check quantity or you know fuel quantity check and you can switch to your reserves internal tanks external tanks whatever and switch back to normal there goes the bit rate on the FCR uh, next we have the internal light panel which is here on the right side this first one here is your console panel this just turns on the interior cockpit lights and next is the instrument panel and that just turns on your instrument lightings and that's that. That's pretty much all the switches that are there on the right side that you need to worry about. Um, if we come back over here, next to the FCR here, we have another switch that we can use. This is your radar. It says radar and then off, standby, on, emergency. This is your radar altimeter. You can leave it off if you want to, or if you like to run with the radar on, radar altimeter on, you can switch that on. Um, if we come up here, you can see you have your refuel opening uh, pods. This is when you're doing aerial refuel. That opens it up. Uh, this transfers to whichever wing or wing center. This is your external fuel tanks. That's your normal. And then, of course, that is not a worry switch. Over here, we have your uh, taxi lights. And that's about all that <laughs> you can click on over there. Uh, next to that, right here, we have these three switches. This is your um, autopilot. You can switch them on, on or off. Um, this one does the uh, pitch out to, um, altitude and attitude. Uh, this is your roll headings, you know, whatever. The autopilot. Uh, this one, I forget which one this is, but we can't switch it on because we're on the ground. Uh, above that, on the left cheek here, we have our cat switches, which is right here. As you can see, the cat one and two, and you can switch them whenever you're done. So, you know, when you're running with bombs, you got cat three, and then you can switch to cat one. Uh, below that, of course, you have your master arm. Switch it to sim, safe, or master. Uh, turn on your master arm. And then up above that, next to the uh, left MFD, no, sorry, yes, left MFD, you have your laser switch. This turns your laser on. As you see here, it says laser armed. You can turn it off. Um, over here, the slight indication, you'll see there's also AP. So when you're on autopilot, this light will come on as well. So now that's that. We're going to, I'm going to speed up time here and cut the video. Up until we get the INS aligned and the FCR should be finishing. Actually, INS just aligned, so let's go ahead and um, switch that over to nav. So now we have all of our INS data. And in fact, whoops, I actually forgot to load the data cartridge. So we'll do that. Data cartridge is loaded, and the FCR actually is going to be coming online here in a second. There we go. Switch that from standby to CRM, and you're good to go. Uh, as you can see here, it popped up with a uh, check FCR control page. So all you got to do is go to control page and look and see if anything you need to change or if it's correct. And then just hit control again and that warning is gone. So we are now, uh, we can officially now, if we wanted to, roll off and do our mission. But there's a few more things we got to do. First off, you want to get rid of this master caution, which if you see over here, uh, on your master caution panel, we have avionics and seat, which I totally forgot to flip the switch. 
So that's just going over here to this side, and this is where the lever is. Click it, seat's off. Uh, now we need to get rid of the avionic warning, which is what we're getting the master caution for. How to get rid of that? Fairly simple. Go to your test page. As you can see here, this is the test of everything that's kind of, uh, as the aircraft has been booting up, it's been running tests to see if certain, uh, you know, uh, systems are running, like RWR, for instance. And of course, it's coming back with a failure because, well, if, you know, the RWR was not on before we turned it on. So, all we gotta do is hit the clear button here. That page clears, master caution goes off, avionics goes off. Uh, you can wait a couple of seconds to see if anything pops up. If anything pops up, you might want need to check and make sure you didn't accidentally forget to flip on a switch. Uh, you might also get an indication in the master caution lights here. But as you can see, we're pretty much clear. Everything's good. We can go back to the FCR. Uh, let's go ahead and return from the INS page on the DED. And that's that. Of course, one other thing, and you might have noticed it while we were looking at the center console here, is the F-15 does not have an RWR um, panel itself, you know, and then, you know, you know, panel like the clock or whatnot. It does not have an RWR. Now, the F-15 RWR actually works through the, uh, through the MFD. So what we want to do, for instance, we're in navigation mode because mass caution is off. I'm going to switch out the weapons page here for the RWR, as you can see right there. Click it. We have an RWR now. Now, it's not working currently. One other step we have to do in order to get the RWR to work is we actually have to, you know, it's funny we have to actually turn it back on or we have to turn it on again. Um, even though we did turn it on here, the RWR here does not actually realize it's running. So what we have to do is using the hotkey, it, now you might have changed it yourself if you've mounted it or whatever, but the, I believe the default hotkey is alt numpad zero. And as you can see here, the line is moving up and down, indicating that it's in searching mode. And then there's an I or an H, whichever pops up. I believe it shows an I at first. And then once you get in the air, it should show your RWR. As well as the AI SAM indication light here will turn on once you get airborne. Um, of course, you can either switch on the low altitude RWR searching or to search, <laughs> plain and simple. And that's that. So yeah, that is the ramp startup for the F-15. Now, of course, RWR, if you want to switch off the RWR, you got to use your DMS. So depending on whichever one, DMS right or DMS left, depending on whichever MFD you put it on. Uh, okay, and as I forgot, almost forgetting, one other thing. In order to... If we go to, for instance, we go to master arm on, in order to get to air to air or air to ground mode from navigation, you have to use the hotkey, which I believe is F5 for air to air, which it is, and F6 for air to ground. So you have to do that. And of course, if you hit either one of those again, it will switch off back to nav. But that's that. That is the F15 in a nutshell on at least how to do a ramp startup. Everything is running and good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little ramp startup. I hope it was informative for you all. And if you would like to see either the F-18 or the F-16, which I don't know why you'd want to see the F-16 since there's you know half a dozen already tutorials on it. Um, but if you want to see another ramp startup tutorial on either one of those two aircraft, I will be more than happy to do a startup tutorial for you all. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time. Take care.